Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to explain those black soot stains that appear along walls along the stud lines. This is called soot staining or ghosting. No, not the type of ghosting where you send somebody to voicemail on your phone. It's caused by people burning a lot of candles in their house, usually. There's some other potential causes for this. You might have a fuel burning appliance in your home that's burning really wrong and it's backdrafting, or you might have people smoking in the house or lots of incense. It could be some other stuff, but most of the time you end up with those black marks on the walls because people are burning a lot of candles. And what ends up happening is you see it on the outside walls and the studs are actually going to be the coldest part of an insulated wall. And the reason for that is that wood is a terrible insulator when you compare it to insulation. And it means it's giving up more heat than the rest of the wall and it ends up being the coldest part of the wall. And that's the part that's most prone to soot accumulation. So what, what's the problem with this? Really nothing. It's not a problem. It's cosmetic. If you don't like it, you could wash your walls down, you could prime them, and you could paint them, but it'll still come back again. If you want to fix the underlying cause of this, you'll have to tear all the drywall off all your walls, tear it all down to the studs, and then put four by eight sheets of insulation over all of it, and then put drywall back up and sand and mud and tape and, well not in that order, and paint and get all that put back together. And that, that will prevent it from happening again. Or you could simply stop burning candles so much. You could do that too. Yeah, let's go with that. That would probably be a better option. And, and, but if you are going to insist on burning candles, a few tips I picked up to kind of reduce the amount of soot in the air is to keep the candle wicks short, say a quarter inch, I guess is a good length for it. Don't put your candles where they're gonna be subject to wind or breeze because as the flame is affected that way, it, it produces excessive soot. And try to avoid jar candles. Those, I guess, don't get the right amount of oxygen flow and they produce more soot than other types of candles. So that's it. That's what sooting and ghosting is all about. Thanks for watching.